Okay, we've got another quick experiment for you. This one's kind of nice, actually. This one is just basically talking about how pressure, volume, and temperature change and they're interdetermined. <clears throat> We've already talked about this. It's the ideal gas law. You can check it out on some of the previous videos. But here, the way we're going to do it is we're going to stick a balloon filled with air into liquid nitrogen. Now, liquid nitrogen boils at minus 195.8 degrees centigrade, meaning it's pretty cold. The fact that it's in a liquid form means it's that cold. Take a balloon. Fantastic. Nice big balloon, about the same size. Right, because I've blown air into the balloon, as we know, air is made of atoms and molecules. So that means I've just filled up this balloon of atoms and molecules that are pushing against the balloon with a certain pressure. The reason it's this side, there's a hole in the balloon, so I'm gonna put that down here. Yay! Right, we've got a balloon. Now what happens when you stick the balloon into the liquid nitrogen? So, at the atmospheric pressure we have, and at the temperature it's at, this is how much volume it wants to take up. But look what happens as we cool it down. Now, if I want to go really deep, I've got to make sure I have my gloves on. Oh, yeah. So we had a whole balloon, it was filled with the volume of my air, a certain amount of molecules. Now there's still the same amount of molecules in there, but now it's so cold, look what happens to the volume. But as the heat comes to it, the heat fills it up and tries to make it bigger. Now hopefully the balloon hasn't become so cold that it becomes brittle and busts. But that is another excellent example of what happens when things get cold, because when you cool down things, they don't become as elastic. That's called the Young's modulus. But that will be in another video. Yeah.